Hello gorgeous souls. So I was looking up Archangel Bokpi yesterday and he is the Archangel of the birds basically. He's the, the bird whisperer of the Archangels. He, through birds he sends us messages. Birds are allowed to communicate in any way. They can see in higher perspectives. They can see in all views, a bird's eye view. So they can see in many directions. They can see far ahead, but neutralized to the point. So if you have birds present around you at the moment and like even more so than usual, they are messengers for you and they have a message to be patient and focused. Our beautiful Kingfisher energy here. A Kingfisher is like a kookaburra in Australia. The Kingfisher is near Watermore. Kookaburra is your sea. In bushland, you'll see them anywhere actually. But they are beautiful messengers, just like kookaburra. Because kookaburra has to be patient as well. Birds need to be patient to forage, to get their food. They pull worms up out of the ground. Their eyesight is that good, that focused. that the rest of it has to come into focus and concentration as well. So they are, can be completely one and balanced. Hmm. So maybe we're not really in our patience at the moment and it's time to bring that patience back in. I know with full moon energies, we tend to get very emotional. So find patience in your emotions. Be in a space of forgiveness and love and understanding. Be patient with yourself, most of all. Hyena, dare to be different. This is Archangel Jophiel. Hyenas. They're kind of known as the pests of the of Africa, aren't they? But you know what? They love to laugh and have fun. They are different. They're different from most of... Are they relatives of dogs? Yes, they are. They're, they're very different to most dogs. So... Even in their facial, shape of their face is different to most dogs. But they are very close a relative. And our dogs are loyal. Hyena is, is very sneaky when it comes to looking for food and, and, and it's a pretty dog eat dog eat world over in Africa you have the animals eating each other left right and center but then you have community as well and community is within hyena as well because they're always together they're never you never really see a hyena by itself so its energy is also of community of family so I think my point here is don't judge a book by its cover. Grey Squirrel, find new ways of solving problems. Archangels Raphael. And I love the light. In the third eye, we got the gene pool, the gene symbol there as well. 
connecting to a higher source energy. There's always a higher and a different perspective of seeing things. And that message has come through quite a bit lately. So Squirrel is wanting you to connect with your third eye more so you can actually see and perceive in a new light. That's what Spirit was trying to tell me. And it's also got a radiant heart, the little squirrel. It's so sweet. Be in your sweetness. Then we have rat energy. Now rats aren't always bad. Be your true self. And the universe will reward you. Archangels Gabriel and Zadkiel. And again, such a beautiful warming energy here. And we have the portal. Again, with the portals. We are our own portals, but portals can lead us to wonderful destinations. Within and outside. We don't have to get approval from everybody. We just need approval and be able to be at peace and happy with ourselves. And when you're truly yourself, when you're truly your free expression, it really doesn't matter what other people think. Yeah, As long as you are happy within yourself. People will always have opinions. They will always be negative. But that's where you come in. And you shine, outshine with positivity and with love and with understanding and with compassion and with grace. And with patience. Hmm. So remember to come home to you when it counts. Don't try and be somebody else. Understand your own energy first. Then everything else will just come naturally. Have a magical day.